Hey you guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you are new and this is my fall clean and decorate with me video. This is definitely by far one of my favorite videos to film. I look forward to it every single year. I grew up in Southern California so I'm definitely a summer girl but there's just something so cozy and just something that I love about fall. So I was really excited to bust out my fall decorations. I also got some new things from Hobby Lobby this year. This is the first time decorating in this house and you'll see there's a lot of empty spaces that still need just general decor or furniture, things like that. But I'm gonna do the best that I can today with what I've got. And I also have some new furniture that you guys have never seen yet, so I'm excited to share with you guys all of that. I really didn't own a ton of fall decor already. We lived in a tiny apartment, and then we moved into a little bit of a bigger townhouse. And even in those places, I like to keep things pretty minimal. I really felt like I had a lot more already than I did. And then I went and bought some things, like I said, at Hobby Lobby. But when it came to actually decorating, I realized even this isn't a ton of fall decor, but I liked how it turned out. I don't like a lot of clutter in my house. And so I think that this is just a nice touch of fall without it being overwhelming. The first thing that I'm doing is setting the mood. I turned on my fall music and I'm filling up my diffuser with fall essential oils. I've got Stress Away, Cinnamon Bark, and Thieves going today. So this is the new piece of furniture that I was talking about. This is our breakfast nook table. I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace, believe it or not. I'll have the link to this table in the description box below. This table was meant to be in our home. I had eyed this peplum style table for a long time and I just never found one that I loved or that I felt comfortable paying full price for. And then one day out of the blue, this table popped up on Facebook Marketplace for $200 and we jumped on it so fast and I love it. And then I had already gotten these chairs from Target and I'll have them linked in the description box below as well. This sign right here is from Hobby Lobby. It originally came with like a natural wood frame and I just spray painted that white and I'm planning on using this for meal planning. This three-tiered stand is from Hobby Lobby and I actually really liked how this centerpiece turned out. However, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this up or not. I might replace it with just a simple vase with some floral arrangement or just some you know, fall type greenery. As much as I liked how this looked, it's a little bit more farmhouse than I would like to go in my house. So we'll see if I end up keeping it or taking it down. Most of this stuff is actually from Hobby Lobby. The pumpkins, the lamb's ear, the plant in the back is from TJ Maxx as well as this sugar container. And then these books are from someone on Etsy. I don't remember who off the top of my head, but I'll see if I can find a link for you guys. These placemats also came from Hobby Lobby and I don't think I'm just gonna keep these on the table for fall. I'll probably be able to get away with keeping them on year round. But I really feel like it breaks up all of the white furniture, which I love the white furniture, but it's nice to have a little bit of contrast. And then the pillows that you see in the background, those are from Target. Moving on to the mantle, this is the first time I've ever had a mantle and I'm so excited to be able to decorate it for fall and for Christmas. It's a little bit more tricky to decorate this mantle because there's the big old TV on top, but I still really liked how this turned out. Thank you. 
Pretty much everything you'll see on the mantle is from Hobby Lobby, this garland, and then these candlesticks are also from Hobby Lobby. I told Andrew that I had been eyeing these candlesticks for a couple years now, but I never wanted to pay full price for them, and so when I went to Hobby Lobby this last time, they were actually 50% off. I already owned this next piece that I'm putting on the mantle. I didn't love the way it looked. I felt like the textures matched a little bit too well with the garland. So you'll see a little bit later in this video, I sent Andrew back to Hobby Lobby to pick up a orange piece of greenery for me and I will switch that out. Andrew cleaned out the filter on my vacuum cleaner for me. This is a PSA if you haven't done this in a while or ever. Remove the filter from your vacuum cleaner and wash it under some warm water and then put some essential oils on the filter and it will make your house smell so good when you are vacuuming. These pillows are from Target. They're just a nice basic white pillow and I think they'll hold up pretty well against the kids and I'll be able to keep these on the couch year round and then switch out the little accent pillows with color for the different seasons. And this throw blanket is a really pretty orange. It wasn't really showing up too well on the camera but I got that from Target. Moving on to the entryway table. This is not a piece that is going to stay here. It's just kind of a placeholder for now. I definitely wanna find something much larger to fill this space. This charcoal lantern diffuser is from Young Living and I thought it would be so cool to put out for fall and Halloween. Unfortunately, you can't normally buy this diffuser from Young Living. I want it as a prize and then every once in a while they'll bring it back as like a special sale. So keep an eye out for it if you're a member with Young Living. I love this little monsters live here sign and I love the pop of orange up here. However, I thought it looked a little bit too Halloween and I'm not ready to decorate for Halloween yet. So you'll see that I end up switching it out for something a little bit more fall friendly and then closer to Halloween, I'll probably bring this sign back out. This pillow I got last year from Hobby Lobby, but I believe I've seen it there again this year. And I'm just putting it in a basket along with some pumpkins that I already had from TJ Maxx, I believe.
Next, I'm gonna clean out my sink and I'm gonna use my DIY sink scrub. It's just baking soda and then some Citrus Fresh essential oil. The baking soda acts as like a soft abrasive and the essential oils make the sink smell so clean and fresh. And then I'm squirting in a little bit of Thieves dish soap as well. And the dish soap is actually key because sometimes when you use baking soda to scrub out your sink, you gotta rinse it out and it doesn't rinse off completely. But the dish soap, for whatever reason, helps the baking soda rinse off nice and clean. Now I'm just wiping down all of my countertops using my Thieves household cleaner. This three-tiered pumpkin light I've had for years. You've probably seen it in all of my other fall clean and decorate with me videos. The battery's almost run out on it, so I need to replace that, but I love it. And then this mug I got from Hobby Lobby. In the kitchen, I didn't really want to decorate a ton for fall. I just wanted to add a few pumpkins and a few touches. Like I said earlier, I don't like to have a lot of clutter in my kitchen. It's our workspace. We're in and out of here a lot. But I did want to add just a few touches here and there to kind of nod to fall.
So that is it for my fall clean and decorate with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was not overkill as far as fall decor, but it definitely nods to fall and makes my house feel so cozy and I love it so much. Let me know down in the comments below if you are excited for fall or if you are a fall Grinch. Either one is totally okay. Also let me know if you have already decorated for fall. Once September 1st hit, I was ready to go. So let me know if you did that too. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't done so already. Lots of exciting stuff coming up here on the channel and you don't wanna miss any of it. You can also follow me on Instagram at Ali underscore Gooch to keep up with us on a more day-to-day -day basis. And then I also have a wellness Instagram account at Simply Essentials underscore Ali. And there I talk about all things wellness, non-toxic living, and I share a ton of DIYs. And I would love for you guys to come hang out with me over there. All right, you guys, I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.